guys, happy Thursday. It is Thursday, July 15th, 2009. And this week we're talking about being hardcore with piercings and tattoos. So, I have piercings and no tattoos. Um, the reason for this is because piercings are temporary. I mean, you can take them out uh, if you get tired of them and you'll just end up with a little scar or whatever. Um, and I guess I'm afraid of permanence. Deep, perhaps. Um, which is why I haven't gotten any tattoos, but I'll talk about that in a second. First off, piercings. I have three. Uh, piercing number one was this one. See? Um, just a little cartilage piercing I got um, between junior and senior year of college. Um, I used to wear an ear cuff, like a fake little piece of metal that you pushed on there and you had to tighten it really tight around your ear so it didn't fall off and it really hurt and eventually I was like I'm tired of wearing this and having it hurt so I got it done for real then I got this one uh, industrial I got my industrial done senior year of college I love it it's my favorite one I got up the nerve to do it one day and I just marched myself down to the piercing place by myself I usually would require a buddy for such uh, exciting and terrifying adventure, but I decided to go by myself just to like get it over with. And I went in and this woman, Penelope, she has spikes um, like coming out of the front of her head, metal spikes that were implanted. And she used to have really, really long, intricate uh, dyed dreadlocks and all kinds of piercings and tattoos all over and she was so scary looking and so nice and she did a really good job. I got a fake nose ring for a while and eventually got it pierced on my birthday when I turned 23 probably um, in San Francisco and my nose ring that I like um, I almost passed out three times when the guy was doing it. They said, did you eat anything? And I lied and said I had. Um, and then I was so scared before he did it that I almost passed out. And then when he did it, he went like through the skin first, but stopped before the cartilage. And I was like, oh, that wasn't so bad. And then he went through the cartilage and it hurt so fucking badly. Um, and then it wasn't even done because then he had to like fiddle with it and get the jewelry in and tighten it and whew. so by the end of it I, he had me lying down on the table and my friend who was with me was an EMT and she was taking my vital signs bad anyway so it took me a while to get used to my nose ring but I like it I like it I'm not completely sure that it works with me because a lot of people don't even notice that I have it and honestly I'm not hardcore if you haven't noticed um so maybe it's silly that I have a nose ring but whatever I'm used to it I really like it I think it would be cool to have a septum piercing I think that those seem kind of more gender neutral I think I've talked about this before but um and just have it like stick down a tiny bit like be on the inside not like this but like this and just have two little bits of metal like sticking out there. I think that that looks pretty cool. Or I wanted to get my lip pierced for a while, but I don't want to mess up my teeth and my parents would really prefer that I don't cause further dental issues. I had braces, I had headgear, I get cavities all the time, I've chipped my teeth, like really shouldn't really mess with the teeth. But I think lip piercings are cool, either one right in the middle or like one off to the side. In which case I would get rid of this because I feel like the symmetry would be kind of fucked up. Second thing is my hair. Dylan was talking about how he doesn't feel like he can pull off a mohawk. And you know what? Neither do I, but I have one. Which is why I like the down mohawk look. So anyway, that's that. And third thing is 
is tattoos. So I thought about getting a tattoo on my arm um, when I first started working at the video store. And I really like the kind that's like a band that like goes around here. Um, Melissa Farrick has one and I'm obsessed with her. And a lot of people have them, so they're kind of trendy. And the word trendy and the word tattoo shouldn't really go in the same sentence, but I like it. So I played around with the idea of having um, a film strip around my arm, which I thought was a pretty cool idea. And I would Sharpie it every single day. Um, and then finally my boss was like, you know, that's not really good for you. Why don't you get it henna And I said, you're brilliant. So I went up to Telegraph and I got it henna And after like two days of having it henna on there, I realized I didn't want it, which was great. I thought that that was a really great way to try out an idea. And this would be why you let others help you draw your tattoos and you don't do them yourself. Maybe I'll get like a technical drawing of a old 16 millimeter film camera tattooed on my arm. That could be pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't know how to sketch that in Sharpie, so we won't do that. I also really like word tattoos. I used to really like the word perspective a lot. I think that it's lost some of its importance to me. Um, it used to be this word that I, was al that I would always come back to when I was getting stressed out or overwhelmed or whatever. And if you just like take a step back and breathe, regain your perspective on the situation, you realize that you're okay. So I liked that for a while, but I, I don't think, I don't think I would get it, but I was thinking about getting it written around my wrist and then you would like see it from different perspectives. And then I was like, wait, that's annoying. I do really like the word idea. I really like those tattoos. If I come across someday like a quote or a lyric or whatever, a poem that really speaks to me, I feel like that could be a definite possibility. But I just really haven't found anything that speaks to me that deeply yet. Also, I've had an idea for a while that it would be really smart of me to do another tattoo on my hand right here. Um, I always write... What is that? I really hope that's not a flea. This thing. Like, what is that? So I write a bunch of shit on this part of my hand all the time. See, there's some leftover. Um, to remind myself of things because I have bad memory. And I've had an idea for a tattoo for a while that would say to do and check boxes and lines to write in what it is I need to do. And my most amazing friend, Catherine, made me this for my birthday. See, look, it says Sam. And then on the inside, there's stamps. And this one says to do. And this one's a checkbox, and an arrow, and a star, and a pad of ink. Isn't she the coolest ever? <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. Hope you guys are chilling like villains. Or something. And I'll talk to you next week. Later.